This has got to be by far one of the best rock pooling trips I have ever been on. I've just found an amazing species of fish that I have never found before. Hey guys and welcome to Corriton Cove Beach in Dawlish, a place where many weird and wonderful sea creatures can be found in rock pools. So let's just get into the video and let me show you what creatures I managed to find. The first few finds of this rock pooling trip were a pair of large edible crabs using the overhanging rocks as a form of shelter. This weird looking creature here is actually a type of sea cucumber, which has a number of long tentacles that can be seen when they are in water. Now that the warmer weather has arrived, the seaweed on our shores will grow incredibly quickly, meaning that you'll be able to see lots of different species in rock pools throughout the summer months. It was great to find a few patches of light bulb sea squirts, as this is a species I don't find often, and one that I've never found at Corriton Cove before. While I was filming some seaweed, this curious common prawn emerged from a patch of coral weed to inspect my camera. And here is a species that I've wanted to find ever since I started making rock pooling videos, a live common spider crab. After finding so many discarded spider crab molts over the years, it was amazing to finally find a live one and film it. The blue coloration of this individual's shell made this find even better, as common spider crabs typically have orange or brown coloured shells. Picking up and moving around seaweed on the shore can sometimes reveal hidden rock pools, which is a great way to find some of the more timid creatures like fish and prawns but it's important to remember to turn the seaweed back over once you're done looking for sea creatures. After lifting up some more seaweed, I found this common lobster claw. Okay, I don't know how clear you'll be able to see this, but just there, where my finger is, you can see a tiny little blue rayed limpet. This is the first blue rayed limpet I found attached to encrusting algae, as I normally find them attached to kelp or serrated rack. And speaking of encrusting algae, this is a species that can be found in most rock pools at Corriton Cove. Here is another amazing species I found during this rock pooling trip, a candy striped flatworm, a species of marine flatworm that can often be found in rock pools in some areas of the UK. This weird looking species is able to move around by using thousands of tiny hairs on its underside which propels them forwards. Corriton Cove is a great place to film volcano barnacles feeding. I always seem to find them whenever I go rock pooling here. Hey 
This has got to be by far one of the best rock pooling trips I have ever been on. Uh, as if the spider crab wasn't enough, I've just found an amazing species of fish that I have never found before. So let me just switch over to the Olympus and show you what I found. This amazing species of fish is known as the greater pipefish, and this was the first time I had ever seen one in the wild. As its name suggests, this species is much bigger than the worm pipefish, growing to a length of 45 centimeters. It can be found amongst seaweeds and seagrasses, feeding on small prawns and shrimp. Similar to the worm pipefish, and seahorses, it is the male greater pipefish that carries and cares for the eggs. You may start to see some juvenile fish, like these pollock, in rock pools during the summer months, as they use these areas as a nursery habitat before they become fully grown adults. As you can see from this clip, serrated rack is the most common species of seaweed found at Corriton Cove. I've noticed that nearly every snake locks an enemy in the rock pools of Corriton Cove have a brown coloration, which is a lot less vibrant than the bright green and purple coloration. This clip shows how a dwarf brittle star moves around, as this species lacks the tube feet that almost every starfish species has. Here is another great find from this rock pooling trip, a crystal sea slug. This is a type of nudibranch and it is the first one I've ever found while rock pooling. This species can be found on most stretches of coastline around the UK, but is often overlooked due to its small size. It is often found on sheltered rocky shores, feeding on briar zones. The tide was coming in fairly quickly at this point of the rock pooling trip, so I decided to search the upper shore for more interesting sea creatures. The upper shore is an area where you'll find lots of limpets and barnacles as they have adapted to the frequently changing conditions that occur on this area of the shore. The Corriton Cove seawall is completely covered in small barnacles and limpets. There are also large honeycomb worm reefs that cover most of the upper shore on this beach.
This area of the shore often has a lot of anemones attached to the rocks, including beadlet and strawberry anemones. I also noticed that most of the upper shore rocks had a different type of seaweed covering them, which is known as pepper dulse. So, that's all for today's rock balling video. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please leave a like and remember to subscribe to learn all about the creatures that inhabit our oceans. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.